Page 51, Aria. This is a theme from a piece by Mozart. It's a very famous melody. Common time, 4-4 four, four time. We're still in the key of E flat major. Let's do this slowly together. You have a pickup beat. 4 and, 4 and, 1 and, 2 and, 3 and. Watch this fingering. It's fourth finger now. want to put the thumb on that you can stay here in this position and just cross over and then in the second line and the first measure you can go up if you have to however I like the fingering in the book if you can see what well, these are the chords the one chord in its inversions and we're just kind of crawling up this up here Lift up, it's the end of a phrase, you can lift up and move. So so it's this type of thing. Now watch the third line, watch the fingering. And then you do that again and you, you get the idea, I hope. And the left hand is broken chords in the Ar Alberti bass pattern here. One chord, five seven chord. That's pretty much it. Just keep the left hand out of the way, it's soft. So that's a half note, hang on to that. Change the chord in the left hand there, you gotta be careful. Then you do that again. So there's a few little surprises stuck in here. You've got to be careful with them. Now it says MP at the top. It's a suggestion. It's this is a fun piece. This is a happy piece. But keep that left hand soft. Second line, second major, you, you go up just a little bit. There's not a lot of difference between MP and MF. Just a little bit, so watch out. Don't get MF until that G. And that's the only note that's MF. The left hand stays soft. So again, the second measure. Third, third line, you come back down. Then do it again. So, so you're coming back down. You have to experiment with the dynamics. Really, you need to get to know the piece, and then you feel that dynamic. You'll feel that crescendo going up, and then you'll feel it coming down. It's like that's better. Moderato. It's a happy piece to me. It's more like an allegretto, but moderato. Make sure you lift up between these phrases in the right hand. You keep the left hand legato, but the right hand needs to lift up. Again. So at the end, and at the end, the last... Big deal. There's no retard at the end. It's just keep the beat goes on. So you got to get to it where you're not hesitating anywhere. I'm hoping you're not hesitating anywhere on any of these pieces. If you are, you're not done with the piece yet. You need to get rid of those hesitations before you go on. Otherwise, hesitating becomes just a natural part of your plan. You'll hesitate all the time. And that's not what it's about. Please get rid of the hesitations. They're not good. Now again, there's a note at the top, you can transpose this to E major, because you just read the same notes, you're just using the E major key signature, which is four sharps. Well, if you know the scale and the primary chords, this is a piece of cake. If you don't, this is a struggle. Therefore, hint, hint, learn the scale and the primary chords. So we're here.
major. Hmm? Now be careful on these eighth notes, keep them even. The te tendency will be want to swing them. I'm guessing Mozart would have loved it, actually. He was a bit of a swinger, a oh, party goer. But it's not written that way, so keep them even. So let's play it together very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not doing dynamics. I'll give us three counts because we come in on beat four. One and ready and go and. and. 